Hello Clinton Christian family, this is Mr. Vigil. I'm here to show you our new web filter and classroom management software that we've had roll out this week for uh, our e-learning devices. So this is uh, new to our uh, school and our students and also to you the parents. So I wanted to go through the features of that and what it's uh, intended to be used for and what it does. So here we go. First. I'm going to just show you a bird's eye view of our web filter. So right now we're just seeing the overall school dashboard and we can see how many people have been online and how many websites have been blocked and how many searches there have been and how many videos we've viewed. Um, so this is just an overall data view and what we could do from this point is uh, narrow down this view to use individual students if we wanted to and I could just look at blocked uh, pages or I could go into the videos and see more data uh, about that particular use of our uh, websites and internet so um, there's a, a constant web activity log that's being done on our devices um, so every website hit that is made by a student um, every search that is made and all the videos that have been accessed through YouTube are being logged and so this is meant to be a safety measure but also a level of accountability so that we can make sure that our students are on task and using their devices for education and not entertainment. Um, so I'm just going to give you an example of what we can see as far as like videos. Um, we're nearing 700 video views and we haven't had this ruled out very long so um, here I can see the list of videos that have been viewed on YouTube and if I wanted to see exactly who viewed that video I could click on this and see that information which I'm not going to divulge at this time um, so just so you know that this um, is based on a YouTube filter that is already in place um, our videos are filtered based on a restricted YouTube a setting that doesn't mean that there are no videos it just means that most of the content that would be uh, offensive or not friendly to minors would are is filtered out and so there's still a lot of content on there that is not education um, but this allows us to have the ability to approve um, videos for our organization that can be viewed by our student body um, without a lot of effort. Um, if this becomes a uh, distracting freedom or uh, if, if YouTube is just used for entertainment purposes we will have to clamp down farther on this and that won't be fun for our students or our teachers so I would advise students to only view videos that are uh, for inter or not entertainment but for educational purposes and stay away from uh, seeing YouTube as a place for entertainment. Um, our web filter blocks based on categories. So for instance, uh, a category of chat. So anything that has uh, chat enabled on its website, uh, Twitter feed, uh, Facebook, uh, feed any of that would be blocked because of that category. It doesn't necessarily mean that that website is has harmful content on it. It's just it fall. There's a part of that website that falls within the category for chat. Um, so that can even like news uh, websites can be blocked because there there's an option to give feedback or you know give a, a shout out on Twitter or whatever. So it, uh, just because you come up against a blocked page does not mean that you are trying to view something bad, but uh, it just means that it's in a category that is not approved for our school. If you reach a blocked page, it will give you a description of why that page was blocked. So uh, hopefully you won't see very many of those. Um, Relay is going to be a source of data collection for our school so we can uh, zero in on uh, what our 
devices are being used for, websites that are being visited, and um, hopefully be able to keep students on track. And one of the additional accountability tools that we're going to be utilizing are parent reports. Um, and this is just a, a web page from uh, Lightspeed about their reporting. And these will be sent out weekly on Sundays to our parents so that you can see a snapshot of what your student has used their device for in the online world. Um, so it's just another layer of um, accountability and also information so that you can see uh, what your student use, is using their devices for. And if you have any questions or concerns, we can support you in uh, finding solutions for those. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, our web filter. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. The next portion of this is going, going to be um, related to our classroom management. Uh, this is where we can see live, in, re in real time, what your student is doing on their computer. So again, this is a layer of accountability and monitoring so we can keep students on track. So I have created a class here with a student that we affectionately call Max Max. And I can see on his screen um, the current view. So I can see uh, that a website is pulled up, the Chrome browser. And I can see which tabs are open. Currently, there are four tabs open. And I can see um, some browsing history. There's not much because I haven't been browsing a lot. But there's a few websites here that I've accessed during class time. Um, along with this, we have the ability to um, record uh, for 10 minutes at a time if we feel like we uh, can't monitor uh, this student right away and we would rather just record and then go back and review the recording for any concerns um, we have the option to do that there are also other options that we will utilize more when they're in the classroom like locking their screen or um, sharing their screen contents um, things like that but for students in in this situation for e-learning uh, our goal in this is to be able to help keep you on track and see um, what you are doing and um, and then if you run into any problems um, we can actually see what's going on on your screen and then also when you are online we can see that by this little green uh, dot that appears next to your name and this class doesn't have very many in it but there'll be a class generated and we can uh, some teachers may use this for attendance purposes if they want you to be uh, present for uh, like a video instruction session or something like that so um, just to give you a, a, just a snapshot a brief description of what um, we have put into place to help our students stay on track with their education um, while we have given them these devices to use at home. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to me or you can reach out to our administrators and uh, share those and hopefully we can uh, help make this e-learning experience a positive one and one that is full of continued learning. Thank you.